Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Today I want to share my paper clip for the June theme, which is something to do with creativity. So whatever your creative juices, however they flow, so whether it's, you know, yarn or uh, writing or singing or whatever, um, painting, that's what you should make your paperclip about. So this is the monthly theme that we have in our paperclip art group on Facebook. So here's what I chose to do. It's not necessarily that painting is my uh, my big crafting or creativity um, choice, but I wanted to show you that I just thought this was really cute. So in order to make this, I did this. I downloaded, excuse me, I used this cut file in Silhouette Design Studio, and the paintbrush and the paint palette and crayons were all in one cut file and I did three of each because at the time I really wasn't sure how much um, how thick my paper clip was going to be how much sturdiness I needed so I decided to do this I did it in threes just to make sure that these were nice and thick and I think I'm glad I did I glued these together I think it really helps it to look more like a paint palette too, that it's nice and thick. A little teeny bit of black distress around there because when I, this was not a print and cut file, it was just a regular file and so I added all the colors but I forgot to make sure that the outline was a, was a black. Okay, that's why I add a little bit of ink. So now we're gonna glue these together. I really like how the added, especially with the paintbrush, I think that's great to have that added stiffness. If you do not have a digital cutting machine, um, you can always still get this file. You don't have to have a, a Cameo or a Cricut. You get a digital cutting file, you print it, and you can use the software, which is free, and you can print it, and you can still uh, hand cut. So you can cut these images out, and then you can glue them together. Or you can look online, and you can choose any kind of image of these and cut them out. Okay, so I'm using glossy accents and I'm going to go through and just really give the paint swatches and the paint on the brush a little glossy accent there. All right, so I'm going to let that set for a couple hours to really make sure that's that's good and uh, set up. And then while that's work, while that's doing, you'll want to choose some paper and put it in, cut it in a six by one and a half inch strip. And this is just scrap. This was the back of packaging material that I had that I really liked. Once you have that, I also you also need to print out your word. I went to a word document and wrote "You color my world" and printed out a whole sheet. I keep a folder of all these that I print out so that I can use them in future projects. I'm also using this fishtail banner by Dress My Craft, which does one and a half, two, and two and a half inch banner tails. And don't fret if you don't have something like this, because all you need to do, I'll show you on a scrap here. Take a scrap that's also one and a half inch, fold it lengthwise like this, and then just cut like that. And now this becomes your template. All you have to do is trace that on both ends and cut that out so you don't have to have the punch. Okay, once you have that and your two inch paper clip, orient it the way you want. So if you want it coming in on the right side of your page, put the straight unbroken wire there. And we're gonna fold this, but not exactly in half. You can either go up like this, or you can do it evenly, but then tilt it to the side. And that's what I'm choosing to do. So we're going to do that and give that a nice burnish. And then all I have to do is feed this into the paper clip and glue that. Just regular liquid glue is fine. Don't glue it all the way down because you're going to have these little tails on the bottom are going to stick out and you don't want to have glue sticking out right there. And then on your little words here, you'll want to cut out 
your little your little section of words here. So okay, and I'm just using my scrap papers. So I'll glue that down. And we're going to trim that up. So now we have that and we have our clip. We've got all our pieces. We just need to wait for this to dry and then we will assemble this and we'll come back then and assemble it. Okay, that's good and dry and I really only let that dry about an hour. Now you can use foam tape under these, but I would really like this to be rather flat because I want this to be elevated and be foremost in the front of my clip. Put that right there. And I have to be careful putting this on because it is going to come down a little bit low and I don't want to have this exposed with, you know, glue on the back. Now for this, I'm going to put that up on foam tape and you notice that it, how narrow this is. So I have these super narrow foam tape strips in my shop and I really like them. And you'll see why, because you have something this narrow this also makes great shakers because you can uh, you can bend this around to fit your project. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I will also give you a list down below for all of my paperclip videos because I have a lot. I will also give you a link to the group in Facebook. We do a challenge or a theme every month. So if you run out of ideas, we will have ideas there for you. And there you go. Now let's put this on white so you can see it. There you go. Aren't those fun? So just how fun these are that you can have a theme every month. If you request to join the Facebook group for Paperclip Art, make sure you answer the two questions that Facebook gave you. And heads up, we do look to make sure you've been on Facebook for at least a year before allowing you in the group. So thank you for watching, and I think you're going to love the group because it is a group full of wonderful, inspiring, creative, and encouraging members.